Hey folks, Gadadia, VM Explorer here, and in this uh, particular uh, video blog today, we're going to go through how to fix a grayed out uh, uh, migration on a VM. So this is following uh, VMware KB102.9926. Uh, so it um, basically what has happened is, is you go into a VM and you right click like there's the CentOS uh, VM here. I right clicked on it and you see the migrate is all kind of grayed out and I can't get to it. Um, so, and there's no snapshots on the VM either. So that's not the problem, right? So there's no snapshots. It's just acting odd. Well, what I found out was that when I was doing some, some using my Synology Active Backup to do backups in my VM, some of them failed, right? I was trying to get all the data off and back things up and some of them failed. And when they failed, it eventually completed it, but then it left some uh, VPX disabled methods behind and we're not, not removed. Then uh, the KB does talk a little bit about this and it gets into uh, the whys, but explains this is exactly what's going on. I was doing backups, they failed, uh, and then I followed their guidance, which was here. Now we're going to do this in the lab. This is just kind of the write up of it. So basically, I, I go into the VCSA, I click on the VM. That's step one here. These are two different screenshots, right? And in here, there's going to be this VM ID that I need. So I recognize or record this VM ID. I then go to this URL right here, okay? I replace the example vCenter with my vCenter or the target vCenter ID I want to go to. Once that is up, then all I got to do is get this ID, in this case 2011, and insert it on step three. I copy and paste uh, this right here, this method right here. Boom, that's four. I click five, invoke method. It gives me an output. I go and look at the VM and now I can migrate it. So let's go look through those steps in the lab and see what that looks like. Okay, so here's the actual KB and as you can see it's a little bit lengthy. Uh, I would recommend reading it just to make sure it aligns to what you're trying to achieve. It explains everything and gives you all the, uh, the different steps to go through. Again, this is for six or seven. There is a longer one for five. I do hope you're not running five, but if you are, <laughs> uh, there is a KB article out there and I referenced that in the, uh, in the, uh, the slides there. So you can see right here, it migrate totally blacked out. I can't get to it at all. But when I clicked on this VM, you notice there was the ID right here, the VM7001. So I'll grab that, copy, put it back into the browser. Now I go right there. I do a paste, done, right? And from the, the uh, KB, I slide down here. Okay. We're going to grab this text right here in step six. Copy, come back up to here, paste this in, and now I'm ready. I'm going to hit invoke, and I'll get an output. Now what I need to do is go back and check the VM. So when I go back to this VM, I right-click on it, and now the migrate is now live. I can migrate my VMs off. So folks, it's just that easy. Uh, really simple steps here. Follow the KB, follow this video for, vi for guidance, and I do hope it helps you out. Uh, please hit subscribe below and have a great day. Bye-bye.